If you're serious about 3D printing and dentistry, you make everything yourself. It's not just the hardware and the software and the material. It's also clinical utility, user feedback. It's also AI. It's also design. It's also making sure we get the, the patient satisfaction. We make sure that our products and our innovations make us better dentists and then give our patients the highest quality products available. I believe my duty is to build a bridge between clinical dentistry from my office to the spring ray biomaterial innovation lab. We're not here to replace an old technology. We're not here to replace alginate and stone. We're here to advance dentistry. We're here to advance material science. Going back to the paradigm circle, we want something that is better, faster, and more cost effective. When we talk about clinical solution, Hossein allured earlier on the development of the crown kit and the arch kit. This was a painstaking task that took us approximately a year and a half to perfect. While Hussein described all the hardware detail, the software detail, on how we get to print so fast, literally what we did was we were able to print a crown three times faster within the last 18 months. We were able to cure things faster by a factor of six within the last two years. These did not come about because the geeks and the nerds in the engineering team decided to tinker to see how fast they can build this machine. This is why I mean that Spin Ray is not out here to sell a product. We are here to offer a clinically tested solution. Immediate, immediate partial after a surgical guide, a surgical placement, crowns, bridges, inlays, outlays, partial restorations, everything in my office are done the same visit today. This is what I like to call a molar resolution benchmark. And what it's meant to demonstrate is quantitatively describe to you how much detail is lost when you fabricate a given prosthesis. So imagine if I want to CNC mill a crown today. So if I have a tooth number 14 that needs a crown, and I do a pre-scan on it, and then I, cut the I, I prep the tooth structure, scan it again, if I were to put this into my milling machine, what does that end result crown look like if I were to mill it on Emacs? The number at the bottom, that percentage, is a demonstration from a computer graphic angle how much detail is actually lost. The bottom of the print is what the prosthesis looks like or what the crown looks like. The top demonstrates to you how many voxel, which is the actual three-dimensional resolution that your print has. The greatest strength of Spring Ray is not the best marketing, it's not the best sales team, it's not even the best engineering team, even though we have all that. The greatest strength of Spring Ray is a ray of innovation and ray of technical evolution. It doesn't matter what the competitors do, we'll always catch up to them and respond faster than they can. The Nightguard Flex is one of the most popular product in Spring Ray inventory. Nearly every single dentist that owns and operates the Spring Ray ecosystem are printing their night guards in-house, and nearly every single one of them are using the Flex. Over 90% of all dentists love this material. I can tell you nearly every single one of my patients love it with very minimal adjustment. Over 85% of them will recommend to their peers or colleagues. Those 5% that don't want to recommend is because they don't want their neighbors to get a 3D printer so they can keep the market less competitive. The team over here at Spirin, they cannot leave good good enough because the aspiration is always to do better. Now we have a method of instantly designing your splints, print it faster than ever, and be able to cure it faster than ever. And on top of that, we have the optical polished tank. So even after you print it, you no longer need to sit there to coat it or to polish it. FlexSplint 2 will outperform uh, FlexSplint 1. But for those of you that love FlexSplint 1, Splint 1 will still be on the market. So we'd like to offer our users a choice. If you like the O, stay with the O. We go through the same thing with composite. Uh, composite. We go through the sa same thing with our bonding system. If you like what's out there, you'll still be around. But the Flex 2, has much stronger uh, property when it comes to elongation. It has a higher flexural modulus. And on top of that, the impact strength is better than before. But the most exciting thing of all is with the optical polish, this is what it looks like coming out of the tank. This is, again, the last patient that I printed last week. So that's literally what it looks like. Here's a comparison for people that wanted to know what it looks like with the optical polish and without. We printed two of them on the Flex Splint 2. On the left-hand side is what your printer with the current tank will look like. On the right-hand side is with the optical polish. You can see the support still firmly on there. I have done nothing. In these particular cases, all I did was I took a little spring ray snipper. I snipped off all the supports, 
carefully and then we deliver it in the patient's mouth. It's really as simple as that. It's an additional five to 10 minutes saving in, in clinical efficiency. So here's a midnight purple, my favorite color. 